crafty friends welcome to this embossing folder technique video today i'm going to make this card for you but if you stick around to the end of the video i'll show you three more cards that i made with the same technique and to start off i've got a pile of paper scraps four by six inches in a rainbow of colours and I'm going to emboss each one with a different embossing folder so they all have a different design. So I've got a piece of orange cardstock here and a cuttle bug embossing folder. This has got circles on it and I want the debossed pattern facing down and my paper facing up because I want to make dents in my card. This card has only got colour on one side so I'm going to put the orange facing up and run it through my die cutting machine. So there it is. So my circles or the main part of each circle is debossed, pushed into the cardstock. Now this next bit is a bit messy and I've got here some Cosmic Shimmer Sparkle Texture Paste. I imagine you can use glitter glue or any kind of texture paste you have for this this one is what's the color new gold and I've just got a spatula here and I'm going to swipe my texture paste down my embossed cardstock trying to fill up the debossed image as much as possible while scraping as much off from the surrounding areas as possible this is a, a messy look, a distressed or, I don't know, messy. Let's just call it a messy look. It's not a neat and tidy look. At least it isn't when I do it. So I'm going to set that aside to dry. I might help it along with my hair dryer. But you can see how the glitter glue texture paste has gone into the indentations in the paper. So this is my pile of rainbow cardstocks. I did this one with a heart embossing folder. That's the circle embossing folder, some large stars, some distressed circles, some raindrops or teardrops, some little stars and some crosses. So as I said, it's not a neat and tidy look, but it's a fun, sparkly look. The next thing I'm going to do is use some balloon dies to make some balloons from these bits of paper. I'm just going to select a bit that I like the look of that perhaps isn't too messy. Cut it out and then run it through my mini Gemini. It's a good idea to make sure your uh, paper is really dry before you start using your dies with it because otherwise you'll get glitter all over your embossing folder. No, your die cutting folders and plates and things but if you don't mind that then that's all right in a minute i'm going to stick my balloons onto my card panel i'm going to make a five by seven card and this piece is four and three quarter by six and three quarter inches so i have a narrow border around it but before i do i'm going to add some wobbly faux stitching around the outside. This is a sewing tracer tool that was recommended to me by several viewers and it's great for adding that faux stitching around the outside of a panel and I'm pressing it down not too hard because I don't want to pierce the paper and tear it and this is just a bit of fun foam to give the tool something to press into. Now I'm going to run this embossing tool around the outside to bevel the edges and make it look as if it's been die cut rather than cut with a trimmer. Before I add my panel to my card I want to put a couple of bits of cardstock behind it to give it a bit of lift off of the card blank. So I'm just going to cut this bit down into two bits that are roughly the same size and using tacky glue let me put the tacky glue on here and it will be in exactly the right place I'm going to stick these to the back of my panel and that will just give it a little bit of separation from the card blank 
but it won't add too much bulk because I'm going to use some craft foam on these balloons and I'm not sure how many layers I'm going to want. Because I don't have a 5x7 card blank within easy reach, I'm just going to quickly make one. I'm going to pop some glue on there, line that up in the corner, give it about, I don't know, is that an eighth of an inch? Honestly, I'm a metric person, but the card industry seems still seems to be stuck in imperial measurements. So uh, I guess really when it comes to that. Now I'm going to use this. Let's have a look about there. That'll do. I'm going to use my bone folder to score where I want to fold my card. And I'll fold my card. use my guillotine to cut it down to size. And now I'm going to arrange my balloons on the front of my card. Something like that. The ones at the back I'm going to glue directly to the panel and the ones at the front I'm going to pop up on foam. I've used this die to cut some little tails out of smooth white cardstock and I'm going to add those, oops, if I can get a hold of it, uh, add those as I go so that they're in the, the right layer as it were so that one can go on the pink balloon with its little string going over there I've got very sticky fingers right now don't think I'm going to add a tail to the green balloon because I think it'll just be, it's too big um, and I don't think we really need to worry too much about that but I will give it a little, of, a little bit of foam tape. So if you don't have balloon dies, balloons are actually really easy to to cut out yourself by hand. You can always bevel the edge with an embossing tool if you want to make them look like die cuts. And if you don't fancy balloons, you could always cut other shapes out of your glittery embossed panels. Presents would, I think, look quite good with uh, this gold glitter messiness. I did think about inking the cardstock rather than using coloured cardstock from my paper scraps but I thought the glitter glue, the texture paste, might mess up the inking and smear it around and it might all get caught up in itself so I think I'll have a go at it another time and let you know if inked cardstock works with this sort of smeared glitter glue technique. So the sentiment I'm going to add today says celebrate today. So this is one of my print and cut sentiments. 
and I'm going to add it there. So this is a celebration card, could be used as a birthday card or any kind of celebration. I've covered up the little bit at the bottom of the balloon there so it doesn't need a string and no one's going to be sitting here counting strings are they and to give this just a little bit of extra detail a little bit of extra celebration i'm going to add a few pale gold nouveau drops around and about So there we go, another embossing folder card finished. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I don't mind the messiness of the uh, glitter glue because it's restrained to the balloons, I think. So although there's not a lot of white space on this card, uh, it is still fairly clean and simple because it's just balloons stuck on a card. As promised, here are the three other cards that I made with the same technique. So for this one, I took the leftover bits from the balloon card and used a one inch square die to cut out six squares. I then used a very thin strip die, this one, to cut some thin strips of gold foil card. And then I used a tiny bow die to make some tiny bows and stuck them on each of my presents because that's what they are. And then I used a stamp to stamp happy birthday and cut it out using a stitched rectangle die. And I think that makes a really lovely, clean and simple card, even though I've used this messy embossing folder glitter glue technique. So the next card I made was this one and it's pretty obvious how I made it. I just used a heart die to cut out hearts from six of the colours. I wanted two rows of three so I didn't use the seventh colour. I think it was the indigo that I ditched for this one. Lined them up and then cut with love from a piece of black cardstock that I had previously covered with clear packing tape. The hearts and the presents on the previous card are adhered using foam tape so you get that lovely dimension with that cast shadow and the last card that I made I used hexagon dies stitched hexagon dies to cut out from those leftover bits and also I cut some stitched hexagons from glitter cardstock and added those in just for a little bit of something different and to fill up the gaps and added a thanks so much stamp just there because it uh, surrounds that little hexagon perfectly that nestles into that little gap there and that's it that's all these cards done and dusted I do hope you've enjoyed the video and that it's given you some ideas of ways to use embossing folders and dies that you already have in your stash and maybe some of the glitter glue or texture paste that you have if it has do leave a thumbs up let me know in the comments subscribe ring the notification bell all those things and i'll see you back here very soon thanks for watching bye for now mm -hmm.